Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We feel your love, Lord. We feel your peace beyond understanding. And now we rest, Lord. That's what Give It to Lord Saturday is all about. Just to rest in the Lord. To put everything on the altar right now that is not like God. Lay on the altar every worry, every fear, every stress, every anxiety, every struggle, every attack, anything and everything that is not like God. Lay it on the altar right now. And once you lay it on the altar, what do you do? Say it with me. Let go. Lay it on the altar and let go. Let go. And let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden remover, 
the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the great physician, the strong tower in each of our lives whose hand we never let go. We never ever let go of your unchanging hand. You're the same yesterday, today, forevermore. You are the air we breathe. As a deer panteth for the water, so our soul longs after you, Lord, every day. So right now, Father God, we say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us into what you need us to be today, Lord. Every day. Every day. Have your way, Lord. In every way. And right now we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence and say, use me, Lord. Use me as you see fit for the kingdom, Lord. We inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. With God all Things are possible. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. Call me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you don't know. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We feel the weight lifting right now, Lord. We feel the weight lifting. We feel your peace, Lord. And right now we bask, Lord. We bask in your presence. Lord, let the blood of Jesus, Lord, let the blood of Jesus cover everyone right now who can hear my voice, live or archive. Let the blood of Jesus flow through our blood vessels, healing, healing every diseased and disease cell in our bodies, Lord. We receive our healing right now. In Jesus' name, let's say it together. I receive my healing. In Jesus' name. I receive my healing. In Jesus' name. Speak it. See it. Receive it. Expect it. It's already done. It's already done. When you pray, believe you have received it. And you shall have it. But you got to see it. See your healing. See your victory. See your breakthrough. See yourself doing a, a shout dance because your miracle has manifested. See yourself praising God because that prayer was answered. See it. You got to see it so you can believe it. And once you believe it, you can expect it. Because it's already done.
Thank you, Jesus. Already done. Hallelujah. Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, receive it. Receive it. Your prayer is already answered. Your healing is already done. And now we wait on the Lord. Those who wait on the Lord gain strength. Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. I will trust in you, Lord, with all my heart and lean not to my own understanding. In all my ways, I acknowledge you, Lord, and know that you will direct my path. For I look not at the things that are seen, but at the things that are not seen. For the things that are seen are temporal, while the things that are not seen are eternal. By your stripes, I am healed, for I walk by faith, not by sight. Without faith, it is impossible to please you, Lord, and, and those that come to you must believe that you are, and that you are a rewarder to those who diligently seek you. I cast all my care upon you, Lord, for you care for me. in my heart. Wait on you and keep your ways, and you will exalt me to inherit the land. If I abide in you, and your words abide in me, then I shall ask what I desire, and it shall be done for me. Whatever things I desire, when I pray, I must believe that I receive them, and I shall have them. And this is the confidence that I have in you, O Lord, that if I ask anything according to your will, and if I know that you hear me, whatever I ask, I know that I have the petitions I have asked of you. I rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is your will for me.
shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me down the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever.
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We open our hearts to you, Lord. We feel your touch, Lord. We worship you, Lord. In spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. And we worship you, Lord. We've given everything, Lord. We've given every part of our life to you right now. We lift up everything right now. Rest in you, Lord. Completely resting in your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What a beautiful night we've had together. A beautiful night of just resting in the Lord. Resting in his presence. And letting the Holy Spirit speak to you. Completely resting. Thank you, Jesus. And right now we go in an intercessory prayer. We now pray for each other. You've been praying by yourself and now you wish for the fellowship to pray in agreement with your prayer. Please put your request on the screen right now. For those who are working or driving and you cannot type, just speak a prayer request. God hears every prayer. And right now we as a fellowship are standing in agreement with all these prayer requests going up right now. Live archive, on the screen or off the screen. Please do this now.
Thank you right now, Lord. We thank you right now for moving mightily over all these prayer requests, Lord. When two or more are gathered in your name, you are in the midst, Lord. And right now, we as a fellowship stand in agreement with all these prayer requests and decree and declare all these prayer requests shall come to pass. The fervent prayers of the righteous avails much. Hear our prayer, O Lord. And Father God, as we continue to come together as a fellowship six days a week, Lord, together we pray for supernatural healing, especially during the pandemic, Lord. We pray for peace for justice, for change. We pray, Lord, for you to continue to wave your mighty hand over the spiritual rebellion, division, and racism, to continue to uproot the grip of racism, not only in our nation, but in the world. As we commit to humble ourselves, pray, seek your face, turn from our wicked ways. So you are here from heaven, forgive our sins, and heal our land. All these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And Father God, we continue to pray as a fellowship to lift up that devastating situation in both Afghanistan and Haiti, Lord. To ask you, Lord, to wave your mighty hand over both those situations right now, Lord. To bring protection and provision to those countries that are going through such devastation right now, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What a great night we've had together. Another great jazz worship and give it to Lord Saturday. Come together around the world in praise and worship and fellowship just to rest in God's presence together. But before we go, as always, before we go, I always know someone is watching or listening at some point who doesn't understand why we praise or why we come together around the world to fellowship together as brothers and sisters in Christ. Someone is here right now who doesn't understand any of that. So right now, I'm going into closing prayers and the prayer of salvation. As always, please, no typing until after the closing prayers. Anything typed during the closing prayers is deleted I respect for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now I'm talking to Bruce, I'm talking to the person listening. You've been here the whole time. You heard the praise and the worship, and you see the fellowship and the love in this fellowship. But right now your life is falling apart. You're not connected right now because your life is falling apart. Your world is caving in on you right now. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety is all over you. Family is turning away from you. Friends stabbing you in the back. And you may even feel like giving up right now. 
Yet somehow you find yourself on this channel, have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. You're not here by accident. God brought you here because he sees what you're going through right now in your life, physically, spiritually, or emotionally. That's why you're here. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to a life of sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil's telling you, once you leave God or fail God, you can never go back. And that right there is a lie and pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said a prayer of salvation and you fell back into a life of sin, there's nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life, recommit your life to Christ, and there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So whether you're walking in hopelessness, darkness, fear, worry, and stress, or you're walking in as a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, pray with me right now. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe He died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I want Jesus to be Lord and Savior of my life. And I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without living up to you first. Create in me, Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that is not like you. In Jesus' name. And if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is not right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us, that teaches us, that guides us, and also convict us when you're not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And then he'll tell you exactly what you need to do to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Feed your spirit, starve your flesh. Feed your faith, starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you'll feel in your life, which is God letting you know it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spirit's retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other mark spirit, named or unnamed, seen or unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. And we cast all you demonic spirits out of mind, out of our spirit, out of our home, out of our kids, out of our marriages, back to the pit of hell for which you all came in Jesus' name. Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy, loose peace beyond understanding. Loose restoration, Lord. Restore, restore every area of our life. Loose reconciliation, Lord. Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep your protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart. But who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your stripes, we were healed. And now we know, Lord, every day, every day we confess it, Lord. Every day, I believe I receive my healing. Every day, confess it. I believe I receive my healing. Every day, pray it, see it, believe it, expect it. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H, pray until something happens. Loose, supernatural overflow, financial breakthrough, supernatural debt cancellation. Lord, let your blessings, Lord, 
your blessings of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on a fellowship air financial need, whatever it is, Lord. For you to supply all our need according to your riches in glory through Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want anything when the Lord is my shepherd. For we're the head and not the tail. We're above and not beneath. We're the lender and not the borrower. We're blessed going in and blessed going out. We're blessed that we may be a blessing to others. We are out of debt. All of our needs are met. We have plenty more to put in store. We are children of God and nothing shall by any means hurt us or block our blessings in any way. And finally, Lord, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know, Lord, now we know every day to take the time to see it. See your miracle every day. Visualize your miracle. See it. Believe it. And receive it to your heart. And as you receive it to your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when. But because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up could be the day and the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep your family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you, give you peace. That you may be a blessing to everyone you touch or speak to. A blessing to everyone you pray over. A blessing to everyone you pass by. And bless with our open mouth. Because the love and light of the Lord is all over you. 24-7, 365, including Napier. So, Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Let fellowship say amen. 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 <laughs>